It seems like the end of the world now, but she'll return. The training doesn't last forever. Good God, let the girl go. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have the run of the whole house till you leave. Imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its muscular, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, you should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. Oh my god. I don't think she was joking. Sam, working in Crown Burger? Okay. More of my father's books. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say that I hope this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not, we aren't the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. You traffic in the weird. The ahead of its time. The lost but not forgotten by a small but de uh, dedicated group of plugged-in bibliophiles type of out there mass market shunning visionary expression that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago unearthing and reviving Christ, or zombie-like, timeless works such as N.N. Bestman's Message of the Snake Men, It's Inside Me by Jens Keller, and Emil Krieger's off-band Venusian Flesh Traders. But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. It's just a kind of forgotten portal into 20th century civilizations, anxieties and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dick swinging heroes that modern suburban Americans want, but John Russell, mild-mannered insurance agent by day, reckless history revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that he deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new foreword for the books to appear in brand new editions of The Accidental Saviour and The Accidental Pariah to be produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. And we want to offer you a portion of the proceeds. Contract to follow, assuming you're interested in coming along with us on this weird odyssey. We look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work, screaming back into the sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Blast off. <laughs> Probably not the kind of publishers my dad had in mind when he made this book. But hey, you're going to take anything that you can get, I suppose. Finch interior. Okay, so that's a garage. Uh, shall we delve into the kitchen? <laughs> I've been putting it off. Right, we'll start here and we'll work in a clockwise fashion. Pizza. Working at Crown Burger. This is a new development. She has a job. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair request the honour of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret, to Mr. Richard Maris Payton Mark. Relish, jam, ketchup, milk, bottle of cola! Oh, lovely. Dishwasher. Why is one cup red and the others are white? Is this a sign? Microwave. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, 
Oh, they, they did say it was under renovation, didn't they? Under renovation. Right, okay. There we go. The Regional Conservation Director Greenbrier. Having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on your new position as Regional Conservation Director of the State Forestry Service. I wish you luck in your final weeks at Flintlock National Forest, and very much look forward to welcoming you to your new desk in the State Forestry Office. Shall she accept it? Good on your mom. Men are what their mothers made them. I'm sure that if the mothers of various nations could meet... Oh, I can't read that. You have been a laugh? It's playing with my mind. Braising a handbook. The fun of cooking, grilled cuisine and French desserts. Lovely, delicious, nutritious snacks. Cooked up in moments. At least I would hope so. Or if in doubt, pizza will do. Oh, wait a minute, there's a note here. Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny and they were on an adventure. They went to the... What's that? Bad part of the woods and it got dark. Danny said, are you scared? So Samantha said, no. Are you? They laughed. And we had let more into the bad part. We went to a part that was never there before. And there was a ship. A pirate ship. On a auction. What's that? Auction? Samantha said, I'll be the captain and you be the first mate. Daniel said, aye, aye, captain. And they went on the pirate ship and started salary away. Sailing? Sailing away. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. Oh. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Oh dear. An unknown dimension literature discovery. Ah, so this is a new cover as well. New book, new cover, eh? How it works. Okay, so bear with me, folks. Uh, something here. Calendar. Katie comes home this month. We'll call with exact date. Rick's wedding. Anniversary trip. Hmm, crosses with Rick's wedding, eh? What does that say? Jump pickup. Forest, loop trail, event, dentist, check pot black, pushing an entry public address, cleaner. Hmm. So, did she go on the trip with the uh, anniversary trip or did she go to Rick's wedding? Ooh. Ooh. Right, just two minutes, folks. I'll be back. Right, well it's that time of the day again where I need to eat, so I will finish up here in the kitchen and then we shall call a close to today's session. But not before playing some more rubbish music. From Bratmobile.
know what? That's actually not rude. It's not that bad, actually. I've heard worse, to be fair. That sounds like a good uh, song for some end credits. I won't be surprised if the end credits to this game had that music playing. I'll be. It, it's just got that sort of feel to it. Anyway, so we'll finish up in here. I, I hope I haven't missed too much this session. I be trying my best to keep my eyes peeled for, for less than obvious things. But uh, you know what I'm like. Things wouldn't be the same if I didn't miss any. If I didn't miss something along the way, you know what I mean. There'd be nothing to criticise, would there? Potato chips, dustpan, cans of rubbish, black beans, hamburger dinner, home style, baked beans, sweet corn, whole kernel sweet corn as well, green beans, what a load of crap, hippo cereal, tuna dinner, tuna pasta bake or something, vanilla cake mix. What is all this? Bran with fibre, crispy flakes, lovely. Uh, beans, more beans, more beans, uh, more kidney beans, black beans, beans, beans. More horrible be I hate black beans, you know what? I sweet corn. Salad dressing. Russian salad dressing. And tomato sauce. You're gonna have tomato sauce around here, don't you? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, more cola. And Dr. Jitters. Broom. I want to sweep the floor. I want to sweep. I can't sweep. Damn you. I want you to sweep the floor. So, kitchen has been done. How do we get to the, uh, to the greenhouse? We've been in there. This is the garage. Yes, we've been in there. Oh, excuse me. So we've been in there. Kitchen, little pantry there. We've seen everything in here, I think. I'm terrible at missing drawers. I might have missed a couple of drawers along the way. I'll do my best, anyway. Moving on to the greenhouse. Oh, another bathroom. Hey, another ba- Oh! Booted out! A going away show for Lonnie D. The last show ever. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Oh ho ho! What the hell is this? Home Cook Magazine! Easy family meals! Pizza on a weeknight? Yes! What to do with leftovers? Risotto! Ten different ways! Lovely. More toilet reading, perhaps? So, uh, it's getting close to the time where Mr. Soto is going off to camp, leaving poor old Sam behind. Playing out, a nice gig, dedicating a song to her. It's getting too much to bear. Love of her life is swanning off. As she should. You know what I mean? You can live your own life. And we begin to move into the laundry room and then beyond that, the greenhouse. So uh, I think we'll call an end to today's session. I shall have my dinner. And then I shall remain, I shall resume uh, another session after I finished eating. Uh, but you won't see that until next time, so uh, join me then. I'm pretty sure, if you look at the map, we've explored most of the downstairs, most of the upstairs as far as I'm concerned, apart from the attic. Um, so I got a feeling that we're getting close to the end here. I really do. 
unless there could be a, there might be another flaw that I that suddenly springs up upon us provides us with a wee surprise but I don't think so I think in the greenhouse we're gonna find some kind of key or something for uh, the attic and then I believe that might be where we end up going so uh, join me next time for that little adventure see you soon